Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, 23 March. Uh, equities limit down here. Not a whole lot of action because of the uh, vote in the Senate. It was just a mild smash of equities. I guess we're a little bit off limit down at the exact moment. But, um, you know, U.S. futures, we hit limit down five minutes in. Uh, and basically, it was the screw up in the Senate. Democrats won't give enough votes to pass this stimulus bill. So, limit down 2174 was reached almost immediately. Interestingly enough, um, the Nikkei finished almost plus two, uh, and it saw a quite a broad range, minus eight at its lows, finished plus two. Also in Asia, China um, finished at plus one, so a little bit better news out of Asia. As far as FX is concerned, um, we had dollar buyers at the beginning and dollar sellers at the end and you and then you have to begin to wonder if the dollar the panic dollar buy is over right fed said they're going to add a trillion one trillion dollars daily to the repo auctions there's just so much supply of dollars now that the idea that there's any kind of panic or reaching for dollars seems hard to believe uh, and you wonder if the focus now is just going to shift onto how screwed America is how ill-prepared and screwed they are whether they are ill-prepared or screwed that's not the point um, it's just the way the market perceives this and also it has a lot to do with the way that America reacts to everything right it's always exaggerated exaggerated higher or exaggerated lower it's an energetic sort of spastic uh, reflection of the sort of just society how, how society rolls boom bust uh, type mentality so you have to wonder if the market is going to say okay the US is screwed there's going to be mass hysteria in the US We'll have to see. A lot depends on the stimulus uh, package. They're going to revote 9:45 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. For now, not a lot to do in in FX. Euro is a perfect example. We did print a new low, down to 35. Now we're 104 points higher. Dead smack in the middle of the range. Not a lot to do. <laughs> Sterling. Um, just everything in the middle here, 115, 30, 117. Dollar Swiss uh, did tickle that 99, which I thought I found quite surprising. But I, I do think we're going to be capped up here. Um, and especially if we start getting this negative US flow, Dollar Swiss uh, looks like a good horse. But we're not there yet. We have to keep. You know, we have to wait and see and, and get a feel for how this day goes um, in real liquidity. Dollar yen is kind of telling us that dollar sales are in play. We didn't even make a new high in dollar yen. Here we are down at 86. Um, if you're on the 240s, you can kind of draw a little trend line here that might be a few guys will have drawn and the question of course is are we back to um, risk on risk off with dollar yen instead of just the mad dash for dollars um, I don't know but here's an interesting little point today this breaks at uh, 17 Look for a touch first, mini bounce, and then maybe sell the break there. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot going on in emerging. Rand's just stuck in the muck up here. Uh, 1770. Euro Swiss protected on the downside by our friends. Um, Aussie, not a lot to do. We started out uh, higher actually. 
you know, we, we kind of opened the the first first prices where they marked it down, then they pushed it up, up to 58 and a quarter, down all the way to 57. But here we are back at 57.70, middle middle ground. So as you can see, not a lot to do in FX. It looks like we might have a quiet-ish morning here um, in Europe. Uh, let's take a look at gold. We talk about the possibility of a huge sell-off in gold on Friday if there were mass uh, redemptions from the big funds. Looks like there were no mass redemptions. Looks like the redemptions have all been done. And gold is just sitting here doing nothing. We had to move down to 80, move up to 10. Uh, there will be sellers above in gold just to try and finish off the selling of these positions. They obviously um, have till the end of the month. So when a customer redeems, um, the fund has to reduce the position, but they don't really have to reduce it until fully until the end of the month, until the new month. Um, so some of them will probably be cheeky and leave some offers above. Uh, but the key levels here now, 1520. If you see those offers, uh, you'll know they're there. If we get through 1520, this might mean that the forced liquidation of gold is over. Not clear. We're just guessing here. Um, we'll have to see. Price will tell us. And then obviously down through 1450, if it's down there, you know it's on. There'll be more stops. There'll be more forced selling. Bonds, pretty bid um, in sort of a one-point range. Remember, we printed up to 138.02 on Friday. Kind of a reversal bar. New daily low today. We'll have to really just see how committed the Fed is uh, in uh, New York liquidity today. Um, the amount of money the U.S. has to raise for these stimulus packages makes me think that uh, bonds are going to have a really hard time going higher. And then eventually, even after this is all settled, people are going to start questioning the amounts of debt that were put on the books. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, and this is also, part of this story is the value of the dollar. We'll have to see where that goes. That could ease uh, the burden of the bond market if the dollar does collapse. But these are these are medium-term trades, uh, something to talk about now, get inside your head, and when the timing is absolutely perfectly right, you plunge, otherwise it's just tradable. Boone's the same thing. Um, should make it, there should be some stops above 171.16 today. We will sell into those. Uh, I haven't seen the headlines regarding the debt ceiling in um, in Europe over the weekend. They said they were going to change this language today. Keep your eyes out for that. When that does happen, that's negative for fixed income. Also keep in mind that there is 850 billion euros of QE going on. So there's a push and pull here. Um, Again, it's a tradable short fixed income in, in our mind. Finally, crude just uh, crunched um, all the way down to 2080, which kind of matches up almost with the 2050 low. I mean, we're a million miles from these 28 bucks. Um, crude looks terrible. Uh, it will get a bounce on a stimulus package, but it's still sell on rally. We're still there's so, there's still so many unknowns with all of this. Um, we're still in this sort of negative feedback loop. Equities, crude, also fixed income. I would put in that uh, put in that picture as well. Anyway, quiet watching morning. Uh, tactical trading is the way in these markets. Both sides get done. It's very very wild. Uh, grab your money, put it in the ledger, and then attack again is the way we're going about this. Good luck today, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.